Hi guys, it's Ray from Ray's Turquoise Turtle. Um, I had a lot of questions when I posted these to Facebook, how I made these ornaments. Um, they have like a Tree of Life charm in the middle. So I'm going to show you today how I did these. Love this one. So, I'm going to do a couple of these today. I, <clears throat> I scared up the link or the information on where I got these charms. These are like paper thin metal Tree of Life charms. Um, I bought these in February of 2014 and couldn't remember where, so I spent some time tracking them down so to prep these I can only find four more so I'm just gonna do a set of four instead of a set of six this time to prep them all I'm going to do is trim off the holder these are super thin I just cut them with an old pair of scissors don't use your fabric scissors or anything good on these but Again, they're super thin, so it's not difficult. I will put the link to these exact ones in the description box below to hopefully make it easier for you to find them. After they are cured or partially cured, I try and catch them after the last phase of resin at the end. Um, at the point where I can still hand screw in an eye hook. These are a bigger size. These aren't like the tiny ones that come with a keychain set. These are the little ones they typically sell for a keychain. I find them too small, personally. Um, these ones I have to use when they're sort of semi-soft because my drill bit, if I miss that phase, is too big for those. So I prefer this size. I ordered these ones on Amazon. I can try and find the link for those too and put that below. But when they're soft, I'll just hand screw them into this top. And then I just put a piece of thin ribbon for the hanger. So. That's it for the completing process. You will be able to see a little bit where you drilled through. That's just one of the things with resin that you get used to. So for the first phase, all I do is clear resin. I use about 25 to 30 mLs per for the first layer. Um, these molds attract all kinds of dust, everything, little bits of glitter. So I just run a bit of painter's tape to get anything out. This mold has been leveled. So I already have mixed up a little bit over 100 mLs of resin. Uh, for this one, I'm using Pro Marine. A lot of people ask what resins I use and why I don't always share what resin I use. I work with a bunch of different ones and for some projects it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Excuse me. For some projects it just simply doesn't matter what resin you're going to use. So I don't always share that information. But in this case I'm going to use the Pro Marine. So I'm just going to pour some in each. I may not actually even use the 25 in each as long as the bottom has a good base to it. I'm just going to kind of eyeball how much I do. When I'm done, I'll give you a better idea of how much I actually used. 
because it doesn't need to be super thick to be an ornament. And I, I'm not going to fully fill these molds. So, actually, I think I'm just going to use that much. So I have about 30 mLs left in the container. I think I mixed, I think I mixed a full one for doing six, but I'm only doing four, so I didn't take that into consideration. So probably about 15 mLs total for each one. Um, you don't really want to hit these with a heat gun or a torch, I mean, because sorry about that. You don't really want to hit these with a torch because you can overheat the side of the mold and actually fuse it to your resin and then your present project won't release and you'll end up wrecking your mold. So I'm going to hit them with a the heat gun to get the bubbles but not the torch. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to let this sit as is for about four hours, and then I'm going to come back and do the next step. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I am ready to do the rest of the process. So this has been sitting about four hours. It could go a little bit longer, but it'll be okay at four. So I'm going to look at these and just see which side looks better. Sometimes they get a little um, discolored or anything or little picky pieces. And I'm going to try and somewhat center them and drop them on. Like that one I did terrible. But I might be able to shift it a little bit. This one's a little bumpy, but I think it'll be all right. So I'm just going to try and grab it with my tweezers. And it's okay if you don't get them perfectly aligned in the mold. Um, I'm gonna poke it down a little bit just so it's in the resin. Um, if it's not centered, it doesn't matter because your hanger will get centered at the top of the tree. So I'm going to press it down and get the last two in. And give it a poke down. So that's that. They're embedded. And I mixed up another 110, 120 of Pearl Marine again. And this time I am going to use every bit of it. So I'm going to start by getting some in each and making sure that the charm does not float. They shouldn't. I mean, they're they're in there, that's tacky, so it should hold them. I 
I learned quite a bit doing the uh, sticker fail process. If you watched that video or if you want to go back and watch that video, you'll see what I did wrong in that process. And again, I will go ahead and link the um, charms I used here in case you want these exact ones down in the description at some point after I get the video live. So, and I can see where I have a little bit of a non-mixed resin. It shouldn't be a problem, but I am going to go ahead and give that a stir. I had just one little milky spot. But it's the only one I see, and I'm fairly confident this was well mixed. Put the cup to the side. Now, I'm going to hit this with the torch this time, but I'm only going to hit towards the center, basically, and it's going to be very fast. I'm not going to get right up to the edges. The alcohol will actually help remove bubbles from this layer anyways. <clears throat> But I just wanted to get the majority out that way. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun just a little bit also. basically trying to make sure there's no bubbles clinging to the charm or um, underneath the charm but it should be okay like I said the ink's gonna take a lot of the bubbles back out anyhow so it doesn't really matter I'm gonna use my pinata white for these I have a smaller bot that I refill I say this all the time and I did just dump a little bit of dried white in this one, so I'm going to pick that out. Um, I'm just going to hit these real quick again. This torch is running out of butane, so it's barely got any power anyways. It's not going to cook anything. So I'm going to do a couple of these rainbow and a couple of them just blue and green. Just for simplicity's sake. So I'm going to move the white a minute. I'm going to shake the white up. It is important with the pinata white that you shake it really well. You should kind of shake all of them quick, but the white especially is important. Oops, that's not good. I'm going to wipe that off immediately <laughs> because I don't want my ink to end up sealed shut. Accidents happen. I'm just wiping it with a baby wipe. It'll be fine. Okay. Crisis averted. So I have a red, a white, an orange, a yellow, a blue, a green, a purple. For the rainbow ones. Like I said, two blues and two greens for the others. I'll go ahead and start with this one. I do like to pick my colors for these in advance.
And that blue is not a very dark blue. This one will end up more translucent than some of the others. And it's not a very dark green on this one either. So I'm going to drop the white on top of the colors. I'm going to go back in and put more color on top of the white. And because these are fairly small and that's not a lot of resin, I'm only going to do one time each on these. I'm not going to go ahead and build the layers and add more. That's all that's going to get. I'm going to go ahead and leave these open just in case I use them in the rainbow. <clears throat> I'm going to open up my inks for the other one. This one's getting Everglades and Cobalt. I'm going to do the opposite on this one. I'm going to go ahead with the blue on the bottom and the green on the top. Same thing, back in with the white. And one more drop of each color. I love watching the colors morph on these. And I'm going to go ahead and open up these. I have red pepper, sunset orange, dandelion yellow. I have mojito for the green on this one. I pulled glacier for the blue. Aside from being dropped in the resin just now, this glacier's had a rough life. And I have a vineyard for the purple. <clears throat> I find the vineyard maintains its purple color better than any of the other Tim Holtz purples I've used. So I've been leaning heavily towards going with that one lately. But I'm just going to put... couple drops of each color. And I'm going to do these separately so I can get the white on quicker. I'm going to put the white on the opposite direction of the way I laid the color just because it'll start to push immediately. Because I'm working with so many colors, it'll tend to spread more and move faster. And the colors will blend more. And in that case, I actually pushed some of the green all the way to the top. So I'm going to go ahead and put a tiny bit more of the red just so it'll push it down a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to swap out the green on the next one, I think, and the blue. Just dropped my whites. Fetch that. I'm going to go back to the lighter, lighter blue. Just capping off the ones that I'm done with. I 
Sometimes the inks will pull towards the center like you're seeing this one doing. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm not gonna try and backtrack and add more because I don't want to mess it up. So. It doesn't really matter what order you work in. And if you want it very translucent, you can just leave the inks as is. You don't even have to do the white step. I just like the effect of the white. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's all personal preference. If you wanted to, you could add a glitter layer to the back. <clears throat> And I just saw I had a dog hair stuck on that green, so I'm going to have to look and see if that dragged out or if it's in the resin. I have a golden retriever, so dog hair is a fact of life. This one's just got a ton of movement. And I can see that the orange bottle picked up the dog hair, or the yellow, so I'm good. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm trying to push some of this back. I'm trying to push some of the color back towards the bottom, so I am adding some more than usual. And I'm going to put some more of the blue in and try and push it back towards the top again. <clears throat> So that one's a little bit funky, a little bit different. It didn't really maintain the rainbow, but it is moving and changing a lot. So who knows how it'll look when it comes out. But that is it for those. That is how I made those ornaments. I will show you again. This was the first rainbow one I did and then a blue and green one. So these will kind of mimic this somewhat when they come out. Um, that's it, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, bye.